हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द माइंड मैप प्रोग्राम ऑफ दृष्टि आई दिस प्रोग्राम विल कवर रेलिवेंट एंड इम्पोर्टेंट स्टैटिक पोर्शंस फ्रॉम यूपीएससी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन टूडेज प्रोग्राम वी विल कवर जोग्राफी सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस वीडियो कवर्स इंसोलेशन एंड अर्थ हीट बजट अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनर्जी सिस्टम इंसोलेशन मेकेनिज्म ऑफ सोलर रेडिएशन distribution of insulation factors affecting the distribution of insulation earth's heat budget human influence on radiation and lastly we will give you the practice question for both mains and prelims so let's begin today's session first of all we will discuss about the energy system the earth and the biospheric ecosystem receive energy from three basic sources solar radiation gravity and endogenetic forces the solar radiation is the most significant source of terrestrial heat energy gravity forces help in the down slope movement of water and ice and thus facilitate in transforming potential energy into kinetic energy and the endogenetic forces caused by varying thermal conditions deep within the earth create relief features of varying orders and dimensions on the earth's surface these features affect water flow vegetation cover development of soils weather and climate etc solar energy received through solar radiation heats the earth's surface and the atmosphere this is responsible for the movement of air and currents through changes in pressure gradients it drives the hydrological cycle through evaporation and precipitation now let's discuss about insulation the radiant energy received from the sun transmitted in a form analogous to short waves is called solar radiation or insulation the solar energy is radiated from the surface but its source is the interior of the sun as we know the sun has four major zones core photosphere chromospheres and corona from inside out respectively now if we talk about the mechanism of solar radiation in the sun's interior the hydrogen is converted into helium due to enormous confining pressure and very high temperature it happens under the process of nuclear fusion which generates huge quantity of heat this heat is transported to outer surface of the sun through convection and conduction from below energy from the sun is emitted in electromagnetic form these are short wavelength radiation which travels outwards in radial manner the heat inside the sun is more or less constant so is the insulation on the earth now let's discuss about distribution of insulation Insulation on earth's surface decreases from equator to pole world there are temporal variations as well around the year low latitude or tropical zone it extends between tropic of cancer and capricorn this region receives highest amount of insulation with little seasonal variations mid latitude zone extends between 23.5 degree and 66 degree in both hemispheres polar zone are the regions between 66 degree and 90 degree in both hemispheres this zone receives minimum insulation on the earth surface now moving on to the factors affecting the distribution of insulation angle of the sun's rays decreases towards poles so the insulation also decreases as the oblique rays covers more area insulation also depends on the day time longer the day more the insulation and longer the night lesser the insulation distance between the earth and the sun also affect the insulation when the earth is farther from the sun that is aphelion insulation is less when it is near to the sun that is perihelion then the insulation is more sun spots these are dark areas within the photosphere of the sun these are cool areas It is believed that the energy radiated increases when sunspots are more and vice versa. So during more sunspots phase insulation also increases. And lastly atmosphere also affects the insulation through reflection, diffusion, absorption and scattering. 
Now let's have a look at the Earth's heat budget. Insulation. Incoming shortwave radiation consider 100 units or percent. 49% which does not reach the Earth is spent as follow. 6% from scattering, 27% from clouds, 2% Earth's albedo and 14% absorbed by the atmosphere. 51% comes on Earth spent as follows. 23% radiated from the earth as long wave radiation out of which 17% goes to space and 6% absorbed by the atmosphere, 9% spent in convection and 19% in evaporation. Now let's discuss about the human influence on radiation. Human activities have also influenced radiation. Heat islands due to increased urbanization, industrialization, Changing surface properties leading to heat islands, which mean trapped air near the surface. It happens in winter as the upper air cools, but surface air does not cool down, which creates temperature inversion, which leads to heat dome. Human activities like cloud seeding, prevention of hailstorms, diversion of clouds, etc. also affects radiation. An anthropogenic climate change is the mother of all worries which is affecting the gravely. Releasing CO2, chlorofluorocarbons, nitrogen oxides, etc. are impacting the whole balance. Now let's note down the prelims question. Normally the temperature decreases with the increase in height from the Earth's surface because 1. The atmosphere can be heated upwards only from the Earth's surface. 2. There is more moisture in the upper atmosphere. 3. The air is less dense in the upper atmosphere. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. And now it's time for the mains question. Many cities in India are facing heat island phenomena. What are the reasons behind it and what can be done to minimize its impact? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.